Good morning, everyone. Thanks for starting the day out with me. My first guest this morning, he knows how to put a smile on everyone's face. He goes by the name Frankendred. An interesting name for an interesting man. Now he is an accomplished Caribbean performer who plays not one, but 11 instruments. He's also a writer, chef, even radio personality. Frank and Dredd, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. It's all my pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Frank and Dredd, you have definitely lived an interesting life. One thing that stuck out to me right from the beginning was that before you moved to Florida in January, you were the personal chef for Larry Holmes, who was the former heavyweight champion of the world. That is so cool. What, what does a heavyweight champion like to eat, Frank and Dredd? Well, since he was from the South, I can tell you he still liked a lot of things um, that were closer to his beginning heritage, a lot of Southern food, and, and actually I'm not really supposed to talk about a lot of <laughs> things, but I can tell you he's had a chance to go all over the world. It was definitely satisfying to have him to enjoy or to give accolades to any dish or any banquet or something that I did for him. Now, were you still pursuing your music career during the time you were doing that? At that particular time, I was more into radio and writing. Um, as you know, I have four careers into one, and it was, a, it was kind of a, an accident how I ended up cooking for him in the first place. Going into his place, visiting a friend who happened to know him, and his chef had to go to the hospital. And so I somehow got into the conversation. Someone told me that I was a chef, and, and I said, you know, I'll help out for 11 days so the guy comes back. Well, guess what? The 11 days came, he was happy, the other guy could, couldn't quite step up to the level of excellence that Larry wanted and that I was pursuing there, so he quit. So I thought, oh gosh, it's me. <laughs> so it turned out to be a wonderful year of my life, something that no one would ever be able to take back. And then Key West soon came into your life. Now, you have just recently, though, made Key West your home. You have been doing some touring with the band. Yes, um, I am the steel pen player for a band called the Trap Rock Junkies. Then they're based out of the St. Pete's Clearwater Tampa area. We were up for three awards during the recent um, Trap Rock Music Awards. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of traveling. It's taken us from Indiana to for that particular area, but it culminated a summer in playing in front of 10,000 people at Hoosier Park in Indiana. Mm -hmm. but I've been sort of busy. Now it's pretty much music and I cook whenever I can. You know that I'm from Indiana originally. So. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> nice that you were in my hometown state. All right, Frank and Dredd, I mentioned that you play not one, but 11 instruments. I can't even play one. So how in the world did 11 come into play? I'll give you a succinct answer. It started off as a child. I considered a voice an instrument. So I started off with singing in the choir, and then uh, from there, my parents made me take the dreaded, the dreaded uh, piano lessons. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to drums, and, and as I got out of college and everything, um, every time someone in my band messed up, I would fire them and learn their instrument, so I didn't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> so before you knew it, I was adding instrument on after instrument and, until I found my first love, the steel pans from the island of Trinidad. So that's your favorite? It is, and that is what, besides reggae itself, when playing the uh, style of um, steel drums, the calypso, and soca music, people, they can't help but forget what's downtrodden about their lives when they hear that gorgeous sound. Describe your style of music that you play. It is definitely island-infused, no matter what style. If it was a rock song and I choose to recreate it, it comes out in a nice, bouncy, glorious way that makes people tap their feet and you, it's very difficult for anyone to stay still. Now I have a photo of Bob Marley up, also one of his famous and fabulous quotes. Is he someone who inspires you, Frank and Dredd? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, one of my original songs that's circulating a bit, if only demoed, it, it mentions him. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, um, Robin Nesta Marley, which is his real name, was a really great man. He never followed the master plan said his piece and he took his stand and he did it by playing reggae music. And that's kind of how my life is. I choose this music as a platform to make people happy, to also talk about political things or just happy things or joyous things. But the music is a platform to use lyrics to get people to hear as well. 
Well, great. Well, you do put a smile to people's faces, and I know that that's something you love to do. You are going to play a little something for us this morning. What Absolutely. are we going to hear? I haven't decided which tune, but I might, um, now you've mentioned I may have to play and sing a little Bob Marley for you. Well, good. That's a great choice. And now, you're in Key West right now. You are performing solo. Yes. How long do you plan on staying in Key West? I'm home now. Mm -hmm. I had planned on actually moving here for some time. The stop that I made over in Tampa was just uh, just a little stop along the way, even before, and you'll laugh, before I ever went to Eastern Pennsylvania to work for the champ, I was headed here. You have definitely ended up in the right place. Like you mentioned, our viewers are going to hear you perform a little bit this morning, some Bob Marley. Where can they hear you perform at, though, in person? On Tuesdays, I work as part of a trio at the Little Room Jazz Bar. Thursdays, I'm at Kelly's Caribbean, a new space called Muse up top, and you'll catch me at McConnell's or even in the streets of Key West because it means I don't have to travel the world. The world comes here, so uh -huh. they get a chance to check things out. Thank you. 